It's been a tumultuous week for Jeremy Corbyn, and this was only Thursday morning. Good morning, everybody. Are you on yeah. this leadership challenge, Mr Corbyn? As it seemed he was just hours from being challenged for the leadership of the party, Mr Corbyn had other business to attend to. He was supposed to be speaking about the inquiry findings into alleged anti-Jewish sentiment in Labour. But he also reacted to the events of the last few days. We all know that despite the overwhelming mandate that was given by Labour Party members and supporters last year, we've all had a torrid few days. Well, at least I have. <laughs> Whatever now takes place in our party, politics should be conducted in a decent manner. Morning. This is the woman who could make his week even more torrid. I'll be saying something later today. But former Shadow Business Secretary Angela Eagle appears to have now delayed her bid to oust Mr Corbyn. Their party isn't a hotbed of anti-Jewish feeling or any other racism, according to the inquiry by civil liberties campaigner Shami Chakrabarti. Mr Corbyn said he'd shortly implement her recommendations. Mr Corbyn, how difficult is it going to be to change the party given the problems you're having at the top of the party? I hope the whole party will come absolutely together, thank Shami for her work and see this as a seminal turning point in how our party behaves and give ourselves a framework to ensure there is no racism whatsoever at any place or any level in our party. I think the party will come together. And are you the person that. to lead the party to do that? Um, I am the leader of the party and I'm doing that. <laughs> But before he does that, he's under fire for appearing to compare Israel with IS. Our Jewish friends are no more responsible for the actions of Israel or the Netanyahu government than our Muslim friends are for those various self-styled Islamic states or organisations. Then, Labour MP Ruth Smith, who's Jewish, was verbally abused by one of Mr Corbyn's grassroots supporters. She stormed out after Mr Corbyn failed to intervene. She's now accused him of showing a catastrophic failure of leadership. Tonight, as Jeremy Corbyn clung on for another day, he issued this online statement. But his defiance was marred by a misspelling of his own name. Julian Drucker, 5 News.